Uh, let's see what we got here. As you can tell, this is going to be a power washing job. This is one of my uh, million dollar rentals. It's a big house. It's 6,000 square foot old brick. Three stories high with a basement. Way off the ground, right on the golf course. There's number five, I believe. I believe. But anyway, look at this. Now I'm going to tell you something about this kind of neglect. Now this is a rented a property. It's been rented for five years. I do the maintenance on this place. And guess what? They haven't called me in five years to power wash this place. Look at this. Look at the mud. This is from potting plants. Look at that. Look how black it is in that corner. Look at this. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. This is going to be a good one. And it gets better. All the brick. All the windows. All the door tracks. Look at this. This is as bad as it gets. Leaves. Everything's green. The furniture is green. The brick is green. The windows are black. <laughs> I mean, this it shows that it has not been done in five years. Plus, believe it or not, I replaced that board six years ago. <laughs> That's the only board that was bad. Now there's three more boards that are bad. In fact, this one here, they're spongy too. You can tell. This one here is real bad. And this one over here is bad. Yeah. And there's a third one. Somewhere, somewhere in here, there's a third one that's real bad too. I can't remember. But I've already bought the lumber. This needs to be painted. Man. Let's say we're on a second floor. This is this is gonna take a lot of bleach. And you know I like to saturate everything, every power wash job I got or get, I saturate everything in 100 percent bleach. And then I use high power with a green a green tip on a 40 GPM machine, and that's how I get shit like this clean. Man, all right, look at the stairs. They're bad, too. I'm going to show you the real surprise. You wait and see this. I just called the homeowner, who's a good friend of mine, good customer. And I told him, I said, Mike, I said, you're not going to believe this. But anyway, bam. <laughs> oh, yeah. The green slime. And this is what's coming through the deck. Okay? You can see the, you can see the stripes and everything in here. <laughs> I told him, because I would originally have bid, I only bid on doing the deck up there. Just power wash the deck in the back of the house, you know, which take me two hours to be done. Not even that long. And then when I came down here to do the full inspection, <laughs> Bam. <laughs> I didn't come down here the other day when I was with the renter. I was with the renter, not the homeowner. And then I said, hey, Mike, let me go over there and let me go over there and investigate. And you can see we did it's rain. We it rained from midnight to eleven o'clock this morning. All night long, heavy rains. You can see the green on the brick. And I know this camera's picking it up. See it? Everything's coming from this deck. Wow. Nice. I kind of figured, sure. Like I said, it's three story three story brick house, man. This is a million dollars. This is a million in this in this market, in this economy. This particular house, because look at that. That one's vinyl. And look how look how nasty. Look how nasty it is. See? Nobody power washes. 
Look at this house, man. Bam. When, where do you find a 100% three-story house with a basement? All brick. <laughs> That's right. Nice grass. Right on the golf course. Shit. You're going to spend some money buying anything like this. No matter how nasty it is. Yeah, you can see it. Look. Dirty. But see what I'm talking about? Look how big this house has been. That's freaking amazing. Yeah, pretty amazing. Hey, let me walk up this hill. But this is for the morning. I was going to, I was supposed to be here this morning. But it, I lie to you not. We had a system literally crash on top of us last night. About midnight. Oh, it was unreal. And then it didn't go anywhere. It's, it's, it literally, the system sat on us for 12 straight hours. And then as it was moving out, it circled back and kept raining. I mean, it was like unreal rain all the way up until 11 a.m. this morning. It's about 3.30 now, and it's gorgeous outside. But anyway, I got to be here tomorrow, which I should have been doing today. Got rained out. That's, that's the story, and I'm sticking to it. Look at that. Nice old classic Jag. V8. Oh, yeah. Also, too. And this is for video evidence for the homeowner, too. They're feeding, they're feeding the rabbits. Look at all the carrots out here. You're not supposed to do that. But the shutters are missing, two of them. I gotta drill those holes out and go get some black pegs for these and stick them back up. Like I said, big house, man. And all the houses around here are all the same. They're all big. Everything's big. <laughs> and now everything's expensive. But I got my stuff already ready to go. Like I said, I was supposed to be here this morning. We've gotten so much rain, man. I got a case of bleach, which these are true gallon and a half. Get it at Sher Sherwin Williams. And uh, got my power washer there, got all my hoses and everything, wand. Got a hundred, let's see how much have I got there. I got 200, 100 feet there and 50 and 50. Two, uh, two hoses there for another hundred foot. Uh, that'll get me there so I don't have to drag the power washer all the way in the back. But yeah, and I got a small gutter job I gotta fix. Got the two caps. And here's the shutters. I wanted to get them out of the weather. They've been laying in the dirt for a while. So let them sit in here dry out. So I'm going to go to, I got to buy these plugs right here. And believe it or not, Home Depot is the only place that sells them. Lowe's does not have these. Not in my local store anyway. Okay. Plus. I got a really cool job putting putting together a plastic utility shed that was blown over and dismantled, laying on the ground for a year. And it's funny because when I bid on the job, uh, that building, that particular plastic shed building, and you guys know which brand it is, it comes from Lowe's, uh, they used to sell for $6.99. Well, guess what they sell for now? The guy who said he looked them up, he was just going to buy a new one. And they went to $1,899, some shit like that, like 300% increase in price. And he said, heck, just go ahead and put it up. And I says, well, I got to charge you uh, $1,000 because you got parts missing. I said, there's some metal brackets and a bunch of screws you don't have anymore. It's a building's been sitting there forever. And he goes, all right, all right, I'll go ahead. I'll pay the thousand. <laughs> so, God, <laughs> technically the labor is more than the actual cost of the building brand new with all the parts in that weird, but not anymore. 
Wow. What an unbelievable scenario. But look at this house, man. I've had this place nine years, man. I even fixed the roof up there. Um, God, bunch of bunch of maintenance on this place. But remember, this is rental. This is rental. So it, it's treated completely different. Every tenant's different, and it gets rented every two years. It's always stayed, believe it or not, this place always stays rented, always. Executives from all over the world come here and live because this is right in the heart of Raleigh. There's a neighborhood in the heart. And it doesn't matter if the rent's $5,000 a month or $3,700 a month. It doesn't matter, believe it or not. They all get rented. <laughs> There's nothing, there's nothing for sale and there's nothing for rent in this entire end of the neighborhood. I lie to you not. I live not far from here and I know this street. I know this area. So it's, it's pretty crazy. And this housing market just got more hotter. It went up another 25% in value uh, just in the last two weeks. Again, again amazing it's just amazing and i know there there's conflict all over the world but you know what there's no co there's no conflict here man this is this is nothing but high stakes high stakes uh, residential uh, housing boom that's all it is a high stakes residential housing boom and it's not going to stop leave those comments what do you think Tom out of here.